Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I wanted to give you a quick demonstration of using GitHub Actions. And I'm fairly new to GitHub Actions and I couldn't find a simple way to test a quick Node.js application and get a simple GitHub Action running. So that's what we're gonna go through in this video. We're going to use a very basic Express server and then we are going to use a testing library called Cypress. It's called cypress.io. So um, let's go ahead and jump into it and I'll show you how easy it is to create some GitHub actions that can automate some testing functionality. So uh, right here you can see this is GitHub actions, automate your workflow from idea to production. Uh, there's been a lot of talk about GitHub actions and I think it's about time that I start learning more about it as well as you and a lot of other people. So right here I have a very basic or a blank GitHub repo that I just created. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to include a, or I'm going to init a new node package. So I'm just gonna say npm init, and then it's gonna ask me the package name, and I'm just gonna go ahead and press enter through all of this. And I'll say, yes, this looks good. And I want to create a basic index.js. So I'm just gonna say touch index.js. That's gonna create my index.js file. And now there are two things that we need to include or two NPM packages, which is express.js. And we can include that by running this command. And we will also be installing Cypress and that's at cypress.io. And you can see here we can do NPM install Cypress. And we're also going to run dash dash save dev. And we'll install this in our application. Okay, and after we have done that, now we can go ahead and add a little bit of code to our index.js. So I'm gonna open this up in my code editor and inside of my index.js, I am just going to start a new server and then print out a message to the screen. So if we go back over to Express, I can click on the Hello World example. And how about I just copy all of this? And we're gonna paste that right there. And I think instead of Hello World, I'm gonna call this Hello GitHub Actions. Okay, so now I need to run node index.js and we'll be running a new local host on localhost 3000. So if I were to go to localhost 3000, you can see that we have our application here that doesn't do much, it just says, hello, GitHub Actions. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna test to make sure that our application is actually returning hello, GitHub Actions. And this is just going to be a very basic test that we can then create a GitHub Action for. So let's go over here to our testing called cypress.io, and I'm going to click on the docs. And then over here on the getting started, we have writing our first test. And we can scroll down to where we can learn about creating all of this right here. And I think I'm gonna scroll down to where they have an example of getting to a URL. So I can go ahead and copy this right here. And I'll explain what this does here in just a second. Uh, but before I do that, I think we will need to do one more thing, installing Cypress. Okay, so we already did this. Let's go ahead and run npm install. Okay, so doing that, going back here, you see we have the node modules, and let's see how we can run Cypress. So installing, and they say this is how we can open Cypress. So let's go ahead and just copy this. And let's go ahead and run that. And you can see here we have this nice UI in front of us and we have a bunch of example tests. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna close out of this for now and go back to our code. And you can see now that we have this new Cypress folder. And inside of there we have integrations and we have all these examples. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete all of these examples. And then I'm gonna create a new integration test and just call this test. 
And I'm going to want to paste over that code that I was looking for under writing your first test. Okay, so I'm going to copy that, paste that right in here. And if you haven't had a chance to check out Cypress, definitely go to the documentation and they have it very well documented. There's also some videos in there. I think there's some Vimeo and YouTube videos that explain all about how to use Cypress. I'm still currently learning Cypress as well. Uh, it's very easy to learn and it seems really cool. So right up here, we're going to say describe and our first test. So we can just keep that as my first test. And we're going to say that it visits our website and sees our message. So in our case, we want to visit HTTP colon slash slash localhost 3000. And then we just want to check and make sure that the page contains the message, hello, GitHub actions. And we can just remove the rest of this. And this is our basic test that we're going to use for this video. So it simply opens up localhost 3000 and check that the page contains the text, hello, GitHub actions. So let's go ahead and run this Cypress command again. And you can see right here, we can press run all specs. And this will actually open up our application. And you can see that it did not hit localhost 3000 because we actually haven't even booted up that server yet. So you can see that it's actually working because it just failed. So we need to actually run node index.js. And I'm going to go ahead and just use the ampersand here because we're going to uh, basically disregard the output and then open a new command line. So we'll do that so we can actually visit localhost right now. So if we go to localhost 3000, we can see that it is currently running. So now let's go ahead and run that Cypress command again. And we can go ahead and click on run all specs. And you can see here that it opens up, it verifies that we have hello GitHub actions, and then it says that we're good to go. So let's go ahead and make this fail real quick. Let's open up our application. And instead of hello GitHub actions, we're just going to say hello GitHub. Okay. So now that we have that, we need to kill the node server. So we'll say kill all node. And then we're going to run our node index.js. And we're going to open up Cypress again. Okay, now if I were to click on run, it opens up and it's looking for hello GitHub actions. And I believe it is going to time out. Yeah, and it says that the document does not contain hello GitHub actions. So our test actually fails. So that's pretty cool. That's exactly what we wanted. So instead of running that open, and you can see that we have that nice UI by Cypress, we can actually just do run. And it's actually just going to run a headless browser and run it right here inside of our terminal. So you can see that we did get the fail. So let's go back and make this pass again. And let's go ahead and do Cypress run. And you should see that we will get our test is passing. Okay, so we get one passing. And just like that, we have added some testing to our application using Cypress. So now let's go ahead and add this to a workflow or a GitHub action. So that way we can basically push to our branch and then we can get the GitHub action to run. So I'm going to go to my repo right here and I probably want to push the current changes that we've added right now. Actually, I need to add my git ignore. Otherwise, we're going to have that annoying node modules folder submitted to our repo. Okay, do git status again. We'll do git add all.
Okay, and now we have our code right here, and we need to add our first workflow. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the Actions tab right up here, and you can see that we have Build and Test Your JavaScript Repository. So they have a, a bunch of workflows that we can choose from, and I'm just going to choose the Node.js right here. So I'm gonna say Set Up This Workflow, and I'll just keep it as Node.js.yaml, and you can see here that we have Node.js CI. We can keep all this. We want to fire this whenever we push. We want to use the Ubuntu latest. And then it's going to specify which node versions that we want to test against. And then down here we have npm install. And what we can do is right here we can say node index.js. And then we can actually run our test right here. So we can install node, run node index.js. We need to add the ampersand. So that way it will run in the background. And then we need to add our command to make our tests run. And then I think after that, I don't know if this is really necessary, but we'll just use the kill all node, just that way it kills the server that's running. So let's go ahead and click on start commit. And I will say, adding my first workflow. And once I commit this file, we can then go back into our actions right here. Let me see, yeah, it takes just a second. Yeah, I go back into the GitHub actions and I can see that we have this Node.js CI running. I can click on the build for 8.0 and it says that it is starting to run our workflow. So you can see that it's gonna run through each of these steps right here. And then we could also click on this arrow and get the additional details or the output for that specific step. So you can see that we're running npm install. It is installing all of our packages and Cypress and Express, and then it is going to run our application after this. Okay, so now you can see that it's actually running the Cypress test. And we should essentially be getting the same output that we got when we were testing those on our local machine. Okay, so you can see now that we do have green check marks because all of our tests did succeed. So just like that, we have set up a GitHub action to run our tests. And it's a very simple test. It's just checking to see that our application prints out, hello, GitHub actions. So let's go ahead and make this fail. And then we can see that it's actually going to fail inside of our GitHub action. So we'll go back to the index.js and say, hello world. And let's go ahead and add all, git commit, I'll say making test fail. And I'll go ahead and push to our master branch. And sometimes you may actually need to pull because we do have that new workflow file that we need to pull. So we can say git pull origin master, And now we can push. Okay, and after we've pushed that, we should now be able to go back to our GitHub Actions. And we'll see here that we have a new test that automatically gets fired because we pushed a change to our repo. And that's exactly what we want to happen. Once we push a change, we want to run our test. So we can go ahead and watch these tests. And as expected, we are probably going to get the test to fail because instead of hello GitHub Actions, it's going to say hello world. So let's go ahead and see what happens. I am drinking some red hibiscus tea right here. Pretty delicious. 
I usually don't drink tea, but kind of changing things up a little bit tonight. All right, so I should be running these tests. And we'll see here, it is actually going to fail. And there we go, it failed. I'm actually gonna receive an email and it's gonna say, hey, your, your tests failed. And then I can go back here and I can see what happened. But typically you don't want to push to the master branch and have that be where the tests fail. So typically you probably want to edit your workflow and along with the push, you probably also want to have this fire on a pull request. So let's go ahead and add that. I'm just going to say updating workflow for PR. Okay, so since I updated that, we are seeing that another test is running, but I'm just going to manually cancel these workflows because we know that that is going to fail. So let's go ahead and create a new branch and then we're going to fix our tests. So I'm going to say git checkout b fixing test. Okay, so we want this to say hello github actions and we'll save that and then we'll push to our new branch. Okay, so we push to our branch and you can see that here's the email actually that I got that says that my test failed. And if I go back into my GitHub Actions, we're going to see that for this branch, the current test is running. And that's good because we want when somebody, somebody else is like developing and they create a new branch and then they push to that branch, they want to see if their specific branch is passing as well. So they can come here and check to make sure that they're branch is passing. But if they then verified that and they come here and they want to create a pull request, we can say that we want to make the pull request to the master branch. We'll say, hey there, I just fixed the test. So then we click on create pull request and now you can see that before we're actually going to get all green, it is going to run our tests beforehand and it is going to let us know if they have passed and if it is safe to merge into the master branch. So I don't think I'll keep you on much longer because you'll see as soon as these pass, we can then merge that into the master branch. Um, I will make sure that I include the link to this repo below the video, uh, but that's it. That's just a, a basic video on how you can get a GitHub Actions set up to test your application. I'm still new to GitHub Actions and I'm kind of just learning as I go. So I thought I would create this video and kind of uh, show you what I've learned so far. But if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And I hope you have a great one and I will see you in a future video. Cheers. That was pretty lame. <laughs> See you guys.